Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about how we can pass one structure as argument to the function so a structure variable can be passed down to a function like any other normal argument so first of all in the function declaration in the parameter section we have to declare one structure variable and then whenever we call that function we can pass one variable of that structure type and this way the structure variable will be passed to the function so in this example program we have one structure called student with the data members name and role now we're going to create one function called void display and the function will take one student type variable s and the function will print the name and the role of the individual student so inside the main method i'm going to create one student type variable s1 and the name will be tom and the role will be 10 now i'm going to call the display function and i'm going to pass the variable s1 so the variable s1 will be passed down as a parameter to the display function and the display function will print the name and role of the student so now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run the program and you can see the output tom and the role is 10. so this way we can declare one function which can take one structure type variable and then in the function call we can pass one structure type variable as argument so the function will receive the argument and then we can use that variable to access the members of that variable from inside that function so this is the way we can pass one structure to function as argument so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you